What's up YouTube, ODST General back again with another Operation Trebuchet news update. Uh, so I gotta make a couple corrections from last week before we get started, guys. Uh, first of all, uh, I had listed stuff from the main Optray mod as uh, Opcan. That was due to a uh, error on my part in the way I edited. Uh, unfortunately, when I made a change to one part of the video, it altered the other part, and I'd missed that, and, uh, yeah, so that was an accident. The other thing is, is apparently during, uh, the image credits, I misspelled J-E-K, J, G-E-K, man, I can't even say it right, Vengeful, uh, I misspelled his name on the image credit. He will be, of course, uh, getting some additional credits today, as I'll be, no doubt, using some more of his images. Um, if you guys want your images in the videos, in fact, by that note, uh, on my Discord, which the the link is down below, of course, uh, if you go there, you are able to submit uh, Operation Trebuchet-based images to the uh, to the Discord. There's a, a, a chat in there for that, um, and I will, as long as they're, of course, appropriate, use those for these videos. So, yeah, if you guys want that, if you want your, uh, your name credited and these released out into the public... Come on over to the Discord, uh, share your pictures there, and uh, I'm more than happy to credit those and uh, add those into the videos. Um, anyways, guys, let's uh, get going. We do have a little less to talk about than we have in the past, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it nonetheless. Um, so, of course, starting off, we have the main mod, Operation Trebuchet, here. Uh, with Operation Trebuchet, we have the hallways from the Drake class. The dog's been showing off more of these modular hallways. Um, primarily, once again, shots with the power off. Uh, there is one with some sort of green glow. I don't know what's causing that. I don't think that's standard power. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Um, but most of these are low power or, or uh, emergency lighting. So you've got the red night lighting. Um, you know, people kind of peeking around corners, stuff like that. Um... A little bit further up in the uh, the images I have saved, we do have some uh, daytime shots of those, or not daytime, but like standard lighting shots of him doing some uh, reflectivity tests and stuff on the hallway. Um, a little bit more interesting for me is he also showed off some outside pictures of the hallway, in this case showing off some of the modularity of the hallway. Um, so that's pretty neat. The only downside is, once again, on the outside, these hallways don't have any appearance they are uh invisible from the outside which you know they're designed to be used inside the frigate which is fine but if you want to use these for like a base or something you can't have them sticking out of a, of a rock or something so that's a little bit disappointing um other than that though it does show the uh, the extent of modularity the doors and the you know the four by four pieces or the four four-way intersections i should say the three-way intersections corner pieces um, straightaways, all sorts of stuff. So that's really awesome to see. Um, pretty excited about that. Now, uh, beyond that, we do have some more M7 news as well. Um, with the M7, we, uh, we've we got some new animations being shown off by uh, by Forky here, showing off basically putting the, uh, the reload animation into play here. Uh, this is work in progress. He's just kind of gauging the uh, the community's thoughts on this uh, animation, seeing what they thought about it, seeing if it needs to be altered or anything like that. Um, pretty neat looking. I'm more than excited to get some more custom animations into the mod. Always welcome, of course. And it looked really awesome with the uh, the other weapons that they'd already added it in for the uh, for the grenade launcher, the battle rifle where you're actually taking you know the grenade out or whatever stuff like that. Um, Beyond that, let's take a look. What else do we have? We've got... Oh, we do have one last thing to talk about for the main mod. I thought there was... Nope, two. Two. Uh, we had Bacon Shelf sharing probably what's going to be the last image for some time of the uh, Lance and the Scythe. Um, these are still outside of the game. He said he probably won't be adding any more screenshots to the Discord until these are actually in-game and uh, probably working, at least to some extent. So... Uh, might be a little while before we see anything on these, but this looks like this will probably be the final look for these weapons. Um, of course, they're going to look a little bit different in-game with lighting and stuff like that, but this will give us a pretty good idea of what to expect. Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, Forky's Halo Reach-based uh, battle rifle concept. He is still working on that. 
Um, he's fine-tuning the model a little bit more. Uh, still probably a good ways out from seeing that in-game or anything, but I'm pretty excited to see that. Um, beyond that, what else do we have here? Well, like I said, we have First Contact. So with uh, with first contact, we had a few images teased. The uh, the first of which was this uh, this blue glowing light and a red glowing light. It's pretty tough to see. Um, I went ahead and I uh, I altered the image somewhat so that it's a little bit easier to see what was shared there. And uh, we can see that's the updated Elite model, the new one that's going to be getting added in the uh, the Ultra. And uh, he does. The weapon he's holding is still hard to see. It's obviously a red glow, so it's probably kind of obvious what it is. But in case it's not, uh, we'll show off some more images of that. And you can see in this one, it's a lot more obvious what that weapon is. It is, in fact, a plasma rifle firing red rounds, which means it's a brute plasma rifle. Um, I went in, I talked to uh, Tonito Vizard and, uh, and a couple other people, and I was just trying to see what's going on with this, if this is actually something they plan to add to the game. And it is, in fact, something that they are looking to add. Um, it's not completed yet. I'm guessing they're probably still trying to figure out fire rates, stuff like that. And it's my understanding that there might be another weapon uh, they're working on with this. I've heard what the weapon is, um, but it's not in game. It's not been done yet. So I'm not going to say anything about it until it's actually ready to be shown off because right now it might not even happen. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. You know, and this one's still really dark. It's just really good at showing off the, uh, the particle effects and the, uh, the round and stuff at night. Um, so I went ahead and I asked, uh, see if I could get a, uh, a nicer screenshot of this particular weapon during the day since it was already shown off. And, uh, you know, the dev team was uh, kind enough to oblige. And so we've got a, a daytime shot, actually a couple daytime shots of this weapon being, uh, held and wielded and stuff, not fired in the day, but it's showing it off in the editor. Um, so yeah, really cool, good looking, just like the uh, the regular plasma rifle, of course. Um, you know, beyond that, not sure what else to say about it. I mean, just it's a, it's a good looking weapon. I'm excited to have a little bit more variety uh, as far as the Covenant goes. But we do have one other thing to show off for the Covenant, another weapon. We have the, uh, the beam rifle in game. I spaced out last week. I couldn't remember if the beam rifle was in or not. It's definitely in game. I looked at screenshots like right after I quit recording to uh, remember that. So we've got a, a work in progress uh, showing off of the beam rifle being fired with the kind of white purple. Uh, so it looks like they're basing it off of the uh, the Halo 2 design. So it's still really neat looking. Of course, once again, these are still work in progress. So just bear that in mind too. Um, so anyways, let's continue on to side mods. So, first up, we have Opcan, and uh, hopefully I've got all my title cards correct in this one, but uh, anyways, Opcan's shared quite a few things over the past week. Uh, we have a bunch more comparisons of Marines versus Army, so in the first one I've got here in my uh, folder, I've got two Falcons being compared, the uh, the Army Falcon and the uh, the Marine Falcon, so base game and uh, Opcan, both of the uh, weaponized versions of the Falcon. Um... Beyond that, we've got a whole bunch of other vehicles being compared. So uh, basically all the vehicles in game that have had uh, texture changes. So uh, Warthogs, Hornets, Falcons, Pelicans, all of them are being compared side by side here. Uh, another shot of the uh, Falcons alongside Hornets. The uh, the Scorpion tank by itself for the Opcan retexture. So that's all pretty neat. And then we've, of course, got some uh, custom vehicles Burgess is working on. So in addition to working on a uh, custom APC personnel carrier type of deal, we've got some uh, retextured LAVs from the base game that he's also uh, redoing up and stuff. So we see uh, turreted and non-turreted versions of these vehicles. Um, he is retexturing them. It looks like Based off the retextures he is actually doing for this, the army texture that he's doing for his own vehicles, as well as a marine version based off the Optray texture. 
Uh, so that'll be probably pretty popular with a lot of people, especially those who are uh, quite lore friendly. Uh, we've got some light armor vehicles too, and a big picture of everything all lined up as well as a couple of action screenshots here that he's got to set to go for us. Uh, beyond that, that's uh, not all we have to show off for Opcam. We actually have something pretty neat. We've got a custom model to show off. Uh, the helmet here that he has designed is the CH250, which I don't think is anything from any of the actual Halo lore as far as I'm aware, but this is basically uh, the idea that it's based off the CH252 helmet, and this was a uh, competing model, kind of like they do in real life, where uh, you know, if you're getting a piece of armor or a jet or something, you have multiple companies make up concepts for it, and then you end up, you know, contracting out for the one that you want to go with, whichever one, you know, performs best or works best for your needs. Um, so the idea behind this lore-wise is this was a competing helmet to, you know, the mainline Halo helmets for the UNSC we saw. Uh, the contract didn't get picked up, but instead the uh, Colonial uh, Militia, the CMA, and, uh, you know, other sources like that ended up picking up on this helmet and using it so pretty neat um you know burgess is getting better and better at making these models i'm pretty excited to see this thing in game it should definitely be pretty interesting once it gets around to it i know these things are always popular with uh, everybody else uh and that's everything i have to show off for opcan now we do have one last thing to show off for the main or not the main mod but the side mods so we have op cause which is operation cosmetics Um, I haven't talked about them in a while. They haven't really shown off a lot of screenshots in the main Optrade Discord, at least that I've seen. Um, but these two definitely grab my attention. They are retextures for the uh, Hornet. First up, we have the Insurrectionist variant. Um, looks like it's kind of based off the Halo Wars design, so that big red and white kind of theme that they've got going. Uh, very obvious. I like it, though. It works. Uh, the other one that they've got is a policing variant based off of, I guess, the new Mombasa Police Department based off the logo. Uh, pretty excited for this. One of the things I never really liked about the policing units that uh, Optre or Opcan added is they just, you know, like the, the police in Halo are dark and you know, like black uniforms and stuff. They're pretty low-key, but like the vehicles just never really felt obvious that they were placing vehicles they could have been a little bit more apparent in my opinion this does a good job of it um it textures on lights so the lights don't actually work i can't imagine maybe they do if some way shape or form i don't know but uh uh you know they texture on lights it says police in big bold letters it's got that big huge white and blue stripes kind of going through along it so i love the library on that thing i'm pretty excited to see that in game too um, at any rate, guys, that is all I have to show off for this week. Now, I do want to say one last thing before I end this. Um, one issue I've always had talking about Operation Trebuchet and its side mods is that when I first started doing these videos, it was just Operation Trebuchet uh, and Opcan pretty much starting at the same time. And so it was really easy to talk about that because I could just go into an, you know, a weekly uplink and cover everything that was talked about. Um, you know, and as time's gone on, you know, most of that stuff's gone to a Discord, a live chat, so it's hard to track all that because I can't be in there all the time. And uh, beyond that, it's extended beyond Optrain, Opcan. You've got, you know, Operation Cosmetics. You've got Fletcher's Mod. You've got, you know, Tim's Side Mod. You've got this and that and all these things, and it's constantly changing. Those mods are starting up and ending, and they're all doing different stuff. So, you know, one thing I've had a lot of people ask me to do is cover their mods to talk about their mods, and just finding that during this weekly thing where I want to talk about them just never seems to really work. So I'm going to do a uh, showcase series talking about mods. I'm actually just talking about one single mod, showcase off what it does, showcase off its units or its scripts or whatever. And uh, we're going to start off doing that pretty soon here. I don't know exactly when the first video will be, but the idea is that uh, this will not fall into my standard weekly routine. So it won't be a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday video. Um, it'll maybe be like Saturdays, like Showcase Saturday or something. I don't really know yet. It won't be like every Saturday. It'll just be when I have a chance to put these out. But uh, thankfully, I've got a list since I started keeping uh, track of all these on uh, the you know documents for all the mods and stuff. I'm just going to go through uh, alphabetically according to what I have for content add-ons. We're going to start off. Uh, so the first one will be the 19th Fleet Official Redux mod, which is retexture pack, and then we'll go from there. Uh, and anyway, guys, like always, I want to know what you're most excited for from this video. Um, excited for from the whole mod. 
And uh, I was asked to put an easier question in here, so I guess um, uh, what's one plus one? I, I don't know, guys. Um, apparently, apparently, a lot of you guys have a hard time with what do you want to see the most Halo wise. It's it's a tough question. I understand. I, I struggle with that too. There's so many cool things. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.